Hello, members and friends of First Parish Brewster Unitarian Universalist. Happy Monday to you. Can you believe we've reached the end of April? I remember at the end of March, it felt like March was like three lifetimes. April has felt like one, maybe, so far. I hope you're doing okay in the midst of all of this. This Monday, I just wanted to give a big shout out to all of our youth who helped to lead the service yesterday and Twinks Hastings as well. It was such a beautiful service with so many offerings and I just have so much gratitude in my heart for everyone who was a part of helping this service to happen, including the youth advisors as well. I hope this week you're thinking about the ways that you're putting the act in activism. Maybe you are getting involved with our UU the Vote. I know Susan Smith has been dropping off a lot of postcards to be filled out. At the Winslow House, there's a drop-off box there on days when it's not raining. If you have more questions, you can email her and find out her contact info through Breeze. And that there are other many ways to be an activist right now through making telephone calls and writing letters and such. So I hope that you are inspired by the youth's message and uh, using this time for a bit of activism as well. And this time is such a roller coaster. There are days when you might wake up and feel energized and feel like I can write all the letters and do all the things. And there might be other days where you wake up and it just feels like one endless cycle of sleeping, eating, sleeping, eating. And so I hope that you're being gentle with yourself and with anyone you come into contact with throughout your days because we're in this for the long haul. I keep thinking about this like, I think at the beginning, well, I know at the beginning, I thought this was going to be short term. When members of the covenant groups came to me and said, we'd like to do a potluck at the end of April, I said, sure, you can schedule that. This will be over by Easter. Ha! That tells you I'm not an epidemiologist. But obviously it's not over and it's not going to be over anytime soon. And so I think about this like we're just preparing for a marathon, not a sprint. And so we just have to take care and know that for some, taking it one day at a time is the best way to proceed. I want to remind you of opportunities to connect this week through coffee with me, COVID free coffee tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., lunch with Twinks and I on Tuesday at noon, check in with me on Wednesday at 11, and our Vesper service on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Many people joined our Vesper service last week for the first time. It's a lovely service. And for those of you who think, well, I'm preparing dinner, I'm doing these other things at 7 p.m., know that you can come on and just turn your camera off and you can have it in the background. Sometimes it's just nice to be together in whatever way you are able to be present. So I hope you do take advantage of that. We also have our parent circle on Tuesday at 1.30 and our fun times with Twinks on Friday at 7 p.m. We also have something new for the second time this week. Some of you joined Karina and our Cove, our front office Cove volunteer team on Thursday morning for a Cove check-in time at 10 a.m., a time to come and get any questions answered, questions about pledging, questions about how to get on Zoom, how to use different features in Zoom. We really want to encourage you to take advantage of Zoom and to lead things on Zoom, to know that we're all in this together and that you can lead things. You can use our First Parish account and lead small groups on Zoom. So if you're part of a committee or a group that regularly met at church, know that you can use this to meet because, as I said, we're in this for the long haul. So I hope many of you will take advantage of that open time on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. to meet with Karina and other members of the Cove front office volunteer time. And even if you don't have a Zoom question, you can just come on and say hi to everyone. Also, mark your calendars for next Wednesday, May the 6th at 11 a.m., during that check-in time, our board president, Jim Hild, and I will be available to give you a brief overview of what we're thinking about with opening and what the future looks like as much as we can tell at this point in time, knowing that the future is always changing. So this is a time for the community to come and gather and hear what your board and your minister are thinking about what the future looks like and how we're 
preparing for the year ahead. So I hope you will mark your calendars for that May 6th at 11 a.m. I hope you take care this week. As we transition into May, know that I hold you in my heart. I have so much love for you. I hope you are finding ways to tend to your spirit in these days and know that I'm here. All you need to do is just call or email me. Thinking of you all and hope to see you on Zoom this week. All right. Bye-bye.